Evolutionary Synthesis Center. This is the Evolution in the News story for August 2007, written by Elsa Youngstead. I'm Kristen Jenkins. Ant Highway Repair Army ants live in large nomadic colonies, conducting spectacular foraging raids, during which thousands of ants run together, killing and collecting any prey that don't get away fast enough. In the species Aciton burchelli, these raids take place daily, but they never go to the same place two days in a row, so the thousands of foraging ants never manage to tamp down a smooth highway through the leaf litter and fallen branches of their rainforest home. This uneven surface would slow the ants down, except that some ants form a public works department, filling the uneven surfaces with their own bodies. Ants can run over surfaces with ant-plugged holes almost as fast as they can run over smooth surfaces. Once their nest mates have run on top of them, the plug ants get up and follow the trail back home. Biologists at the University of Bristol studied this pothole plugging behavior in army ants in Panama. Their findings are published in the June 2007 issue of the journal Animal Behavior. By forcing ants to run over planks of different widths drilled with different size holes, they showed that the formation of living pothole plugs increases the rate at which the ants can run to and from the foraging area to the colony's home base. This increased running speed means the ants can carry more food to the colony's queen and developing larvae. More food for the queen and larvae, in turn, translates to an overall higher reproductive rate for the colony. Colonies that manifest the whole plugging behavior will therefore reproduce more often than those lacking the behavior, and hence the trait should be spread in the population. Social insects, like army ants, are unusual among animals in that they live in large colonies in which only one or a few individuals reproduce. The rest are sterile workers, all daughters of the queen. Rather than mate themselves, the workers feed their mother and help rear her additional offspring. Thus, from the evolutionary perspective, the entire colony is an individual, and traits of workers should only evolve if they benefit the colony. Individual benefits to a sterile worker would be invisible to natural selection. The pothole filling study is an example of how a specialized behavior performed by a few individuals improves colony fitness by getting more resources to the queen and her offspring. For more information about this story, including links to the primary and popular literature and classroom resources, visit the National Evolutionary Synthesis Center website at www. Dot nescent dot org. That's N E S C E N T. Go to the Education and Outreach section to read more about this story or to find more stories in our archive. The National Evolutionary Synthesis Center is funded by the National Science Foundation to promote research in biological evolution.